Ladies, gentlemen, this is Chris from Good Looking Loser, and we're talking bathmate, and that's plural. <laughs> if you're a newbie, this advice particularly is meant for you. Okay, this advice largely is you know we're going to talk about bathmate, but if you're a newbie to male enhancement, jelking, stretching, any of the devices, the whole deal. If you're new to male enhancement, this also fits to you. But we're talking bathmate, so newbies. Please listen. All right. Number one of three things that all newbies need to hear. As cliche as it sounds, male enhancement, no matter how many devices you have, no matter how much training you do safely, is going to be a marathon and not a sprint. Okay. As I discussed in one of the other videos, keeping perspective on male enhancement, how much will I gain? Most guys can gain close to two inches okay that means if you start at five and a quarter like i did you can probably get up to 7.25 that it's exactly where i've kind of like um i guess that's kind of my ceiling okay losing a little weight i did a get i did get above that but largely i think safely most guys and this i'm saying safely like don't hold me to this, but I think this estimate will be pretty conservative. Most guys can gain one and a half inches, possibly up to two. And it depends on your starting size too. If you're starting out with seven, which by all means is like a top a top five percent dick, okay, in terms of length, you can possibly get to nine. Okay. If you start at four, which is you know, noticeably below average, you can still probably get to 5.5 or 6, you know, in that in that average to possibly slightly above average range. You know, it depends on what scale you're looking at, but most guys, I feel, if they commit to it, okay, they do jelking, they do stretching, and they get, you know, at, at least one of the devices, bath made for girth, size genetics, or phallus and forte for length, Okay, you can get up to that two inches, okay, possibly between one and a half to two. That is what you can expect. You cannot expect that in 90 days. You cannot expect that in 45 days. You cannot expect that in 30 days. Commit to it for 18 months. You perhaps will get there, okay? Two years is more of a safer thing. There's other factors involved, lifestyle factors, but regardless, okay, regardless of how committed you are, you're going to have to be in it for the long run, okay? And even after you get your one and a half, two inches, you're going to need to make an effort to preserve those gains. And there's easy ways to do that. Jelk a couple times a week, use bathman a couple times a week. That'll be fine. Okay. You'll keep most of your gains. Okay. Most we're talking 80 to 90% of your gains. That is what I've learned. That is what I've experienced. I've kept just about everything that I have gained. Okay. Marathon, not a sprint. Don't break your dick. Okay. Remember, you grow when you recover. You grow when you rest. That is not unlike bodybuilding or weightlifting. You don't grow in the gym, okay? That might be news to some people, but you don't grow in the gym. You grow largely while you're sleeping and recovering, okay? Hormonal release, testosterone, you know, put, make, building that protein into muscle, helping you recover. Same thing, even though penis tissue, smooth muscle tissue is not the same exactly as, you know, skeletal muscle tissue, but there are similarities. It's tissue. It's broken down. And it needs time to recover. Okay? So don't get overzealous on training, especially newbies that this message is meant for. In the first 30 days, this period is more about your dick getting used to the bath mate than anything else. Okay? You might gain a little bit. You might Hopefully you have some fun. Okay? But largely, 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 first 30 days is about... You know, finding out the learning curve, getting used to it, and physically getting used to it, okay? So, marathon, not a sprint. Number two, the big kind of rec – the reason I recommend the bath made so much is obviously because it works in the long run if you stick with it. But one of the most rewarding things is what we call the bath made pump okay it's a perpetual pump okay after you use the bath mate take it off use it for you know use as directed 10 12 15 minutes take it off you know if, with a full boner use a full boner 10 12 15 minutes when you take it off your dick will be thicker than it's ever been before okay and slightly longer largely it's a girth thing but that's what we call the bath mate pump instant gains okay you get an instant pump on your dick that will last x amount of hours and the more you do it, the longer it will last, okay? Now, that 
perpetual pump, that bath may pump, you can have sex with, okay? You can be, and these are the numbers I throw out there, a half to a full inch bigger in girth, which is very significant, and somewhere between a quarter to perhaps three-fourths in length, okay? Largely girth, mainly length for sex purposes, unless you're really on the short side, but girth is going to be the more valuable thing, just Trust me on that. I think you've heard that too. But in order to get that temporary pump, okay, you need to use it with a full erection. And that is not something I recommend newbies to do. Okay, so if you just got the bathmate, you're in your first 30 days, you heard Good Looking Loser tell you about the bathmate pump and getting your dick super big for like a, you know, 10, 14, 24 hour period or something that you can use in the bedroom. You gotta have patience, okay? Because the bathmate pump, the perpetual size, the big increase in girth is by using a full erection, okay, for 10, 12 minutes, okay? And I don't recommend that newbies use an erection, certainly not a full one, in the first 30 days. If you want to play around with it, you know, consult the directions on bathmate, but I wouldn't go for the full session with an erection, especially if you don't have prior male enhancement experience. If you've jumped for a little while, well... So if you've jumped for six months or so before you got the bath made, well, you might be more ready for it. But even still, start slowly, okay? Four or five minutes, full boner. Or maybe you go six to eight minutes with like a semi, okay? Start slowly, okay? Start slowly, okay? Have patience. That's how you get the pump. The very last thing is a lot of people buy the bath made, and this is... Uh, you know, this is largely why I bought it too, because they didn't like doing the manual exercises. They didn't like jelking, which is the girth exercise the bathmate largely, you know, imitates as far as expanding the tissue. And they don't like stretching, which is largely a length exercise, okay? They don't like the male enhancement exercise. They can use the bathmate for 10, 12 minutes and get a better workout than if they jelked for 20 to 25, okay? That is true. You know, at some levels, that, that is definitely true, okay? Bath mink is a good replacement for jelking, if not a foolproof one, all right? I will suggest this, though, all right? And this is for guys that are really looking to gain that one and a half, two inches, okay? Throw in, okay? I, I know you got the bath mink because you don't want to jelk, you don't want to stretch. Hear me out here, okay? Because this fucking, this puppy works, but... Jelking and stretching does too, okay? You don't need to do five days of jelking, five days of stretching, or anything like that to benefit yourself. Two times a week, seriously, two times a week for just 10 minutes, all right? Throw in some jelking, throw in some stretching, just a little bit, just a little bit, all right? I guarantee it'll make a difference. Every little bit counts. And that's one thing I did keep in my head, you know, from when I started this thing, even though I was pretty loosely committed in the past decade to male enhancement, okay? The bath is what made it fun, okay? This, this device I owe a lot to, okay? But I didn't like joking, I didn't like stretching, but I did keep in my mind whenever I did it or whenever I was taking a piss or whatever, just to pull on my dick a little bit. Everything adds up, okay? When you're pissing, Pull on your dick after, okay? Get the blood flowing in there. Sitting around, do Kegels. Sitting in traffic, do Kegels, all right? Um, you got you got some time to kill, do 10 minutes of jelking. You know, warm up, but do 10 minutes, just a little bit, okay? A lot of people, the manual exercises, they can suck. I know it's therapeutic to some people, but largely most people, they get bored with it. They get distracted by it. It's not that entertaining, uh, it's a very slow process, as I mentioned. Just do a little bit. Don't feel obligated to have to. If I'm going to do jelking, I have to do it six times a week for 45 minutes. Not so, okay? Just a little bit. And that's my third point, too. All right? You can grow, yes, from just using the bath mate. All right? That's why a lot of people got it. I think probably the majority of people fall into that category. All right? But you will grow that much better if you can just twice a week do a little jelking all right i think people once they see that this thing is working uh will be more apt to do that okay and maybe that's wishful thinking but it's like going to the gym you know what i'm saying take this for example 
you're following a diet, all right, and you're not hitting up the gym, and you see that you're losing weight, maybe you'll be a little more inclined because the diet's working to go to the gym, maybe just a few times a week, or maybe the opposite. You're going to the gym, but you're not really following a diet, but you are seeing you are seeing results because if you've never gone to the gym and you start going to the gym, or at least on a regular basis, you will see results, all right, as long as your diet is not like ice cream for breakfast and ice cream for lunch and, you know, really shitty, okay, you start seeing results, you want to get more, okay, run with it, it's good, all right, but don't feel like you have to do some sort of, like, Olympic male enhancement training, okay, bath mate you can do basically on an every other day, every day basis, all right, just throw in jelking a few times, throw in stretching a few times, all right? Every little bit counts. Pull on your dick. Jelk your dick. Every little bit counts. I'm serious about that. And, um, you, you know, whatever you gain, suppose you use a bath bay for 18 months and you gain an inch, okay? If you had stretched, you might be at two. Seriously. You might be at one and a half, all right? Just that little extra time can mean a lot. And, um, you know, have fun with it. Don't burn out. Okay, I'm. I love that these things are available to you guys in your early 20s. When I was in my early 20s, it wasn't available. I got this at age, I believe, like 26 and a half. All right, so still in my 20s, right? But you know, it makes the process a lot more fun. Okay, don't burn out. You know, if if you're trying to gel a couple times a week and the day comes along and you've had a hard day and you know you just want to throw this thing on and you plan to gel, don't worry about gelking. Just you know, have fun with it and do every little bit because every little bit counts.